Oh my God. She's attempting seated riding. Good morning guys, Albert here from Two Cells One Pack. I am at the EV service center and I've just loaded up the whole car for my trip down to AVS. Uh, it's about 5.30 in the morning now and for those uh, people that requested from last time, I will show you the Tesla nerds, my stats. So, we're about to leave. So, 5.34 a.m. I have 91% battery or 444 kilometers of range. And we're gonna head down to our first supercharger. So, the first supercharger should be south of Seattle. So it's looking like we're gonna get to Tacoma, Washington for our first charge. <laughs> Okay, so we got to our first charge point at Tacoma, Washington. Uh, we're in the little strip mall that's not very open right now because it's only 9.13 a.m. Uh, we've driven about 299 kilometers, as you can see there. Uh, 58 kilowatt hours of energy, and we have an average energy economy of 193 watt hours per kilometer. So we've been here for maybe five or 10 minutes. Um, currently, we are charging at 105 kilowatts and it looks like it's gonna cost me 29 cents us dollar per kilowatt and so right now it's ten dollars for the charge and we have about 11 minutes left to remaining to be able to continue onwards to san francisco so <clears throat> once i get going i'll let you know uh, what the total cost is and we'll keep a tally on the energy efficiency as we get down to the states Let's continue going. We are just rolling into our next supercharger spot. Uh, this is at Ridgefield, Your Washington. Destination is on the right. It's nice and empty. Actually, we got two cars over there charging. Mm -hmm. So we're going to charge up a little bit here. Um, we have 18% battery, so I think I overcharged a little bit at the last stop. Uh, the last stop I paid $14.50 of charging. And it looks like we need to charge for around 25 minutes to get to our next stop at Crestwell, Oregon. So I've been driving electric cars since about 2015 when I got my first Nissan Leaf. And the one thing that a lot of people do come to me and ask me for advice regarding electric cars. So usually what I tell people is as of right now, uh, if you want an electric car that you can do everything with, and I'm driving to San Francisco in one day, um, because of the robustness of the Tesla charging network, the only way to achieve these goals is by driving a Tesla. However, in 2025, once, uh, a lot of these major manufacturers start adopting the NACS charging standard, uh, then it'll be a lot more, you'll have a lot more options. So you can use other vehicles to um, purchase and you have more niche options to match your lifestyle. But as of right now, uh, unfortunately, Tesla's the only way to go. So I just went to a nearby restroom and uh, I used a wheel to ride there, so it didn't take me very long. Uh, but upon returning to the car, you can see that it has 15 minutes remaining to continue trip. But actually, if you look carefully, you'll see that the charge rate is only 100 kilowatts. Now, with all these electric cars, as the state of charge goes up, the uh, speed at which you can charge goes down. 
And so that's why it's really exciting to see the newer technologies with the Cybertruck or newer electric cars that can hold a longer sustained uh, charge rate. Also having more buffer in terms of a bigger battery, although you may not use the whole battery, at least you can charge at a higher charge rate for longer. Uh, so these are some of the benefits that a lot of people don't think about when they're looking into buying electric cars. That's all. If you look at our trip card, you can see that I've driven 489 kilometers and used 95 kilowatt hours of energy. So uh, the first part of the first leg of the trip, I left Vancouver with 90% and I arrived to Como with about 6%, I believe it was, and we drove 300 kilometers. So this last leg was 190 kilometers and I went from around 70% battery to around 20%. So only using 50% of my battery. But the efficiency is a little bit low because there was some inclement weather that we hit. Uh, also it's a little bit colder, so with temperature you do lose some efficiency. And on top of that, my car is fully loaded with the EV's tent and four wheels. So we are quite heavy. Let's see at the end of the trip what the efficiency ends up being as I unload some gear on my way back to Vancouver. Hello, welcome back. We are now at Cresswell, Oregon, the home of Northwest Electric Fest, and where Christine got into her accident and forgot a bunch of stuff. So we did 227 kilometers with 41 kilowatt hours of battery. The efficiency was a little bit better than the last stretch, um, but you're looking at about 200, and 200 kilometers or 50%. Now we're gonna charge for 20 minutes to get to our next, the fourth charger of our trip. So there's five charges in total to get us from Vancouver down to San Francisco. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna charge here exactly for 20 minutes or maybe a little bit less, but I'm gonna time it just so that I get to the Medford charger with a very low state of charge, somewhere under 10% so that we can charge more efficiently. I'm gonna go to the nearest restaurant, which is TJ's and use their bathroom. See you soon. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. Grants Pass. Holy smokes, Grant's Pass was absolutely beautiful. Even the sky is still really, really pretty right now. Uh, we got down to 5% battery, we're gonna charge up. I added a couple more supercharger locations so that we charge for a less amount of time and go a farther distance. So we'll see how that goes. I can see that this charger is a little bit slow, so I might not stay here too long, uh, just enough to get to the next stop. But, looks like we did 200 kilometers. We're averaging around 200 to 250 kilometers per charge. And as you can see, we're almost at 1,000 kilometers for the day. So I believe we are estimated to reach uh, Sacramento around 11 p.m. And we left Vancouver at around 5... 30 a.m. I believe it was, so it'll end up being around five, six, seventeen and a half hours worth of driving, which is not bad. Especially when most of it's done on autopilot, so that's a win. Okay, let's get to it. Hey guys, it's getting kind of late now. It's uh, <clears throat> almost 9 p.m. I am at Williams, California, 
This is the last charge stop. I think I missed one or two charge stops because I had to rush to the restroom and they were very short charge stops. Um, but this is the last one. We've done a total of 166 kilometers since the last charge. The efficiency went down a little bit and total kilometers for today was 1,374. So once I get back to the Darnell's house, I will check to see how many charges we did, how long did we charge for. But based on the ETA that's on the screen, we should be at the Darnell's house by approximately 10.30, which makes this a 17 hour drive. I don't know if you can even see me. So yeah, there you go. Uh, we did a one shot from Vancouver, BC down to Sacramento, California just so that we can go to intro to speed tomorrow morning for with Mary Bell. So hopefully that goes well tomorrow. I'm ready to head over to intro to speed. So we're here, it's quite a good turnout. Got about 30, 40 people. Zach's kind of sad because he can't balance his tire. Hey guys, we got Show Scott here. Uh, so you said you were nervous, but you're using it to motivate yourself? Yeah, I'm really intimidated by a couple of riders like Roger and, and Brian and, and Mario, of course. So I'm kind of using them. Mario as, won the other in just a couple months. Yeah, 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 exactly. And he's, I mean, he's come here. He's amazing on e-skate. He's, yeah. e he's amazing on anything he touches. So that's very intimidating. Okay. Um, and so I'm basically using that as motivation though. They're like work harder and yeah. all that stuff. So are you going to um, wear more gear? I'll wear elbow pads. Oh no, right now I'm wearing knee pads and I'm wearing Okay, wearing so you're wearing more so gear. I, and I'm wearing gloves. So I'm basically <laughs> wearing regulation. The so. alien rides above. Yeah, exactly. Brandon. Yeah, with the with the extra palm sliders. Yeah, they're actually they're actually pretty good. Yeah. So um I will be wearing them for the race, but yeah. I am actually gearing up properly. Yeah, it's good. Good so, to see. Well, yeah. I mean, elbow, you're wearing elbow pads too now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You will. Okay. Um, it's cool. just I don't have them right now, but yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll always will have the elbow pads too. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, well, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Hey Kim. Hey. Darnell, Mrs. Darnell. Oh, don't look at my garage. <laughs> we got the uh, EV's V8F learning wheel. And since I got a little bit injured yesterday, I entered a speed, we're gonna make the most of it and try to get Mrs. Darnell onto a wheel and get her comfortable. Look at that smile. Proud husband. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, thank you. Let's go hit the parking lot. Albert for being Albert, the absolute thank you best so much. guest ever. <laughs> Single-handedly the best Single, guest. <laughs> sing, Single-handedly. <laughs> Look where you want to
There you go, there you go. Try to lean into it a bit more. Could you not? That was less than 20 minutes. Woo! You know what I yeah? That was me. I wanted to swerve this way. <laughs> I wanted to do this. <laughs> that was freaking That's amazing. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to go, oh, I wanted to do the whole, the whole carving the thing. The whole carving exactly. <laughs> Oh my God, she's attempting seated riding. Oh, you gotta move, Kim. <laughs> oh, there you go, there you go. Now, James, how proud are you? Super proud. Yeah? Thank you, two cells, one pack, Fast <laughs> Albert. Fast Albert or Fat, fat Albert? Fast hey, Albert. hey, hey, hey. <laughs> You fast. <laughs> it's time you, to play. You're pretty fast on you. See. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, thank you so much for your awesome instructions. Another EUC rider is born. Spreading the EUC gospel. Yeah. Swim. Swim. Before the storm, yeah. we're one day away from race day. Hey, this is how it is, and everyone's welcome, breaking welcome apart the wheels. The Darnells, man. <laughs> <laughs> breaking apart their wheels or fixing their wheels from yesterday's crashes and licking their yeah. wounds. Hey, got, got a new rim to get put. Oh, on. you're fixing your broken rim. Yeah, brand new fix. Uh, so Aaron here is on the impression that you know fixing a broken rim will shave five seconds off his time. Well, we're hoping. It's yet to be, yet to be proven. Well, so you're going to do a 112 or you sell all your wheels? Oh, shit. That's, <laughs> that's not on the record. Guys that work That's my first. James, don't bother. Let the tire do that. It's James's dedication to his 9090 tire. Hey. Yeah, it was a joke, yeah, right? Eventually. I can I don't know how to I didn't have to. Alright, they get another opportunity. Oh, 
Oh, somebody's 